my prayer tonight will be founded upon the book of Malachi chapter 3 and verse 16. Then that fear the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. A book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. So as we pray up for our Father in the Lord, Apostle Joshua Selman, this will be the guiding compass of my prayer. To Father, in Jesus' name, we come before you. Thank you for your loving kindness and your goodness, O oh God. Thank you for your mercies that have covered us this far. Thank you for the saving grace, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. Thank you for saving our souls, my Lord, and for bringing us together as a community of believers, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, thank you for thy plans for our lives, O oh God. God, and even as we align day by day, I pray that the signals and the impulses of the Spirit will be made clear that we shall walk in the path that has been ordained for us to walk in. What says that they that follow me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life. I decree that we are led by the light of the Spirit, O oh God. It is in your light that we see light, my Lord. That in the name of Jesus Christ, as our Father in the Lord Apostle teaches, O oh God, I decree that the those summons will be converted into light in our spirit, that this illumination will cause us to walk in true dominion, my Father. And even as we share the gospel of Christ to them that are still not believers, I pray that the conviction of the Holy Spirit will capture them in the name of Jesus Christ, cut their hearts as it were in the book of Acts, until they repent and surrender their lives to Jesus, the Christ of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, thank you for each and every one of us. You have ordained us into different ministries. I pray that we will all discover our places in your program and by your spirit and by your word, my Lord. I pray that you will lead us effectively as we cause impact to the kingdom and even to humanity by the power of the spirit of God and the grace of Jesus Christ. Lord, I worship you this night. I praise you, O God, for the prevailing world circumstances, O God, by the greater of all, my Father. Therefore, I pray, O God, for peace. You are the Prince of Peace. Your word says that peace give it unto you, not as the world giveth. Therefore, I pray for peace, O God, in states like Israel and Palestine, my Lord. I pray that the brethren that are there are covered under the shadow of your wings, my Lord, that the mystery of supernatural exemption, O God, shall be their portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as the gospel penetrates into those areas, my Lord, I pray that every force orchestrated by darkness, O God, to hinder the move of the gospel, it is broken in the name of Jesus Christ, just like light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ there is no force that will be able to counter the gospel. In the name of Jesus, I decree territories for Jesus in Asia, in Africa, in America, in Europe, in the Caribbean and to the ends of the world, O oh God. This gospel of the kingdom, this gospel of salvation, it shall be preached and men's heart shall not be hardened and they shall be like the heart of flesh, O oh God, and receive Christ in the name of of Jesus Christ, my Lord, thank you for our Father Apostle Joshua Selman, O oh God. I decree more grace, I decree a fresh anointing, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says that you preserve the paths of thy saints, O oh God. I decree that his paths are preserved in the name of Jesus Christ. And when as he travels to share the good news, O oh God, I pray that your angels shall encamp round about him, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, giving him wisdom give him acceptance and giving him the power of the spirit to avert the forces that have been sent by darkness in the name of Jesus Christ to draw more men into the kingdom of God and they that are in the kingdom of God to be matured by the mysteries of the kingdom thank you for KG pillars oh God our togetherness I pray oh God will never ever be broken in Jesus name preserve us oh God we thank you then that you have raised in the fivefold. I decree strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Give them understanding of the word. Make them understand the ways of the spirit like you did to Moses. So decree that the teachings of the word shall permeate systems and structures of God and a new breed of moral people, people who recognize the values of the kingdom and the value of scripture shall arise, O oh God, in our schools, in the institutions, in business, in the entertainment sector, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.